What's going on toy collectors? Welcome to Toys of Primus and in today's video I'm just going to show real quick some recent spawn purchases for some uh, new and old spawn figures but um, I've been a mostly a fan of spawn back in the mid to late 90s and then I sort of stopped collecting the toys after a while because I was getting into mostly the Marvel Legends stuff and some of the Transformer toys that Hasbro was uh, putting out. But um, now it's 2021, um, McFarlane or McFarlane Toys seem to have acquired the license to do DC figures. So now they are doing the um, DC Multiverse line. It's no longer Mattel. And he's been doing such a great job with those figures even though they're seven inches tall so they're giants pretty much <laughs> they're, they're gonna stand taller than your standard marvel legends figures and they are definitely taller than the previous dc multiverse figures but so far i like what he's been doing even though he's been releasing tons of well hundreds of different batman figures in the dc multiverse line but i do like what he's been um doing with the sculpt he seems like he's been applying those skills he's been using on his spawn figures to those uh, DC characters, and I dig it. And it uh, seems like he's getting back to making spawn characters again. So, uh, recently, yeah, I picked up the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. I got this guy a while back, and this is the one with the sword. There are currently are, there's like two other versions of the same figure out there. There's one that comes with a spike club, and there's one that comes with a battle axe as well. Which retailer you might find them at, I don't know. I would say check between Amazon and GameStop.com. But I got the one with the sword because that's the one I would like the most. And I think he is reusing this spawn sculpt for like two or three other repaints of this guy. And uh, I did order one of the repaints, but there's some differences. Like he has like cool little pieces of armor on him. I forgot which I forgot what spawn that was called, but um, yeah, I did pre-order that one a while back. All right, um, here is, well, maybe I should show them side by side, two different versions of the 2021 Mandarin spawn. Um, now I think he released, I wanna say like four different versions, well, yeah, well, two different versions of this guy back in the day, but then there was also like, also uh, two variants where they're like in blue paint instead of red. He did the same thing with the recent Mandarin spawn. There was another one like this, but it's in uh, blue colors instead of the red colors throughout the uh, figure here. But yeah, I never got the original Mandarin spawn back in the day. I remember always seeing it on the uh, pegs or toy shelves at Toys R Us back when they used to be around. And I would I would always pass up on it because it was right around the time when I stopped collecting spawn figures. Uh, but for whatever reason, McFarlane decided to bring some of his classic figures back and, uh, you know, update their design and uh, paint applications and such and give them cool accessories. So uh, I was kind of pissed off when I got this one because I paid full price at Target, 20 bucks. And recently I saw this on Amazon going for like 10 bucks. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> and uh, I noticed that's been going on with quite a few of the DC Multiverse toys. So yeah, I would say if you don't wanna pay full price, wait a while, you might find these things on Amazon for dirt cheap. And this one, they're calling the Designer Edition. He comes with a mini poster, and I guess his outfit looks a lot more elaborate looking. He comes with way more accessories than the, uh, the standard version here. But I'm happy to add um, both of these Mandarin spawns, the 2021 versions, to my uh, spawn collection. Uh, as far as uh, reviewing these guys, I'm unsure. I'll just say that, unsure, because... I'm mostly an in-package collector, in-box collector of most of my uh, uh, most of my um, cool collectible figures these days. So these ones I want to keep in the box for now. All right, 
Uh, finally, for my 2021 purchases of uh, the new spawn figures, I got, I had to get the new Violator, of course, because this is the best looking Violator I think McFarlane has ever done, in my opinion. And I remember back in the day, I, uh, I had the original one from Wave 1, I had Cyber Violator, I had the Movie Violator, and Movie Violator was like my favorite Violator figure of all time. Because I like how you could push the horn on his head and the eyes would light up and he looked way better than the original Violator. Because the, the original one, he was like super skinny and he's mostly like a bendy figure. You get the bended joints, but the wires in his limbs would often break. So he wouldn't bend that well. And this guy, oh my god, the size and the massive weight of him... Yeah, 2021 Violator definitely, in my opinion, looks like the best Violator McFarlane Toys has ever done. And I'm glad I picked this guy up. Also, uh, within the same line, I guess, he released a cowboy spawn a clown with like these huge gun attachments that goes on his back. And, oh, uh, what was his name? Redeemer. Redeemer, yeah, he has angel wings this time around. I remember the old school Redeemer I used to have back in the day. He didn't have angel wings. He had like a purple cape. There was a panel on his chest that you would flip down. You push a button on his back and the, um, the uh, I guess the, the symbol or pattern on his chest would light up. But yeah, the new Redeemer looks cool. That's definitely one I would have to pick up and add to my uh, recent 2021 spawn collection here. All right. Uh, in case you're wondering what's in the background, here are a few of my old spawn figures that I kept or I was able to keep around because uh, sadly I no longer have a bunch of my old old ones back from the mid to late 90s uh those ones are long gone sadly since i moved oh i miss those figures so much but a few i was able to still keep around like here i'll see if i could zoom in here uh let's see there we go all right so I still have my uh, Medieval Spawn. I think that's version two, not the original one. I also had the original one when I was uh, younger. Uh, Malboja here, this is, um, oh geez. I forgot which Malboja this was. This is not the original one. The original one standed over 13 inches tall. That thing was a giant. It had like uh, realistic hair. <laughs> kind of like, you know, with the Barbie dolls, they had like that hair that's supposed to mimic uh, real hair that like flips around and all that stuff. Uh, but this one looked really cool to me and glad I kept him around. Also another medieval spawn, that one is version three, I think either th version three or four. This is another thing with McFarlane spawn toys back in the day. He, in each wave he would release um, the same character or the same figure but more updated and he would call it like version 2 or version 3 or something like that he did that quite a bit curse of the spawn i had another one but that one is long gone i also lost most of the accessories he came with a cool looking axe and some bats he had bats to attach to his uh his shoulder uh whatever you would call those uh shoulder spines shoulder bones all right course classic looking spawn and a spawn here that I never opened I just kept this guy hung on my wall uh, for many many years matter of fact I wonder if some of the older figures are on the back of the packaging yeah they are I'm gonna zoom back out now and show you guys some of the other spawn purchases I made of older figures so recently I bought Sam and Twitch off eBay. He was listed for 20 bucks. Always wanted Sam and Twitch back in the day. And uh, good thing I went on eBay because a person was selling them for, or both of them, for a very reasonable price. And there was also variants of these guys I saw that was also listed for, um, for a decent price. 
But yeah, here are some of the older figures listed on the back. Man, this brings back so many memories because I remember... Hold on, let me see if I could adjust my camera and zoom in here. Before I go down memory lane. Alright, so yeah, these... Man, I remember looking on the back of these spawn cards and just stare at these figures or stare at the picture of these figures for hours on end but uh total chaos was a cool line i believe there's a wildcats line i think i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look on the back of some of the other boxes uh dang it's not on the back of the other boxes of the figures i bought but i think he did wildcats anyways yeah some of these tremor 2 i used to have back in the day where you push the pump on the back and you see the blood flowing through the uh, the tubes that's going out through his body. There's uh, Vandalizer, Viking Spawn, Overkill 2, I had that one, along with the original Overkill. Man, this is bringing back so many memories. This crazy looking line, <laughs> uh, I think the only ones I had out of this line is Sankster. It was like a weird snake mutant or... He's actually a demon, but, uh, you know, you can use your imagination when you're playing with these toys when you're younger and make them out to whatever you want them to be. Uh, this guy, Super Patriot, I find it funny that McFarlane Toys did that one because I have Super Patriot from another toy line. Um, it's the one with the Build-A-Figure of this character called The Pit, I think. He's like this massive hulking looking figure with like gray skin he comes with like a like a, a small figure of a, a small boy that i guess he's the small boy is supposed to transform into that character and i had i still kept those figures around i never got rid of them because uh i knew those figures were going to be hard to come by later on but yeah super patriot was also included as part of another uh sort of like superhero marvel legends line type of deal that they, they were doing they released along with uh oh what's her name oh witchblade and there was Judge Dredd, there was Savage Dragon. Yes, I, I, I hope I kept those figures around. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I kept those figures. Because <laughs> those were definitely collectible figures I did not want to get rid of. All right. Zooming out a little bit. So here are like wave three of like some spawn stuff from back in the day. There's listed list of Sam and Twitch, which I just bought. Hooray. So now I have them. Um, there's also variants in like, uh, SWAT gear outfit, at least for... Wait, these are the variants. What am I talking about? Yeah, look what Twitch is wearing. Look what Sam is wearing. Sam's gonna look mostly the same, except for the head sculpt. Alright, so these are the variants. Now, when I turn this around, these are actually their normal look. What they look like, you know, in the comics and stuff. And the HBO animated series. Alright. Uh, also, this package is <laughs> uh, pretty much open. You know, I don't think it was the seller's fault. Um, I think it was, that just happened during shipping because it was so hot outside, and I guess it just melted off the glue of the packaging. So, going through most of the rest of these, I always wanted Spawn 3 because the wings would flip open like that, and they look so awesome. I checked how much he's going for on eBay. He's going for around $50, so somewhat reasonable. And also his eyes light up when you push the button. So, man, that's one spawn I always wanted to this very day. Scourge, I did have back in the day. That was a weird looking demonic figure because he put that little demon inside like his chest cavity there, his chest cage, and he would hold it in there. But he was always cool. I, always, I would always play around with him and, uh, you know, along with Violator to fight spawn. Never had some of these other weird looking characters. But yeah, that's just a trip down memory lane. And uh, now I have Sam and Twitch to go with Spawn there. All right. So I decided since, you know, this one is already open, I will do it on, well, partial unboxing, I guess, because it's already unboxed. But uh, yeah, I will do an unboxing review for this set here of Sam and Twitch. All right. Other ones I ordered. I'll show this one off first. I ordered the Goddess from uh, the Manga Spawn series. 
And this is the one with the the hair. Because there's a variant where she doesn't have the hair. Her like, hair is covered by the uh, purple suit there. This is another one I plan on opening up and reviewing on this channel. And looking on the back, various uh, manga spawn figures that came out back in the day. I've seen this guy a lot in comic book shops, uh, Manga Clown. They made him a weird looking tentacle spider creature. <laughs> um, I did get that one, I'm going to show that off next. The Manga Spawn, because I, I always wanted that one. Alright, and we're going to take another trip down memory lane. So... Alright, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Alright, so Spawn Series 8, I actually had that entire wave. I had all of them, because I remember I ordered all of them in a set. Uh, sadly, I, I don't know if I still have them around somewhere. They might be all gone, but yeah, Curse of the Spawn. And that's version 2 back there with the wings. But yeah, this is the uh, original one that they put out. That guy was always my favorite because he had the propellers on his back that you could spin around. But yeah, that was a crazy looking wild set. Uh, going down, there's some movie characters or movie figures, I should say. Now, I didn't have all of them. I wanted a bunch of them back in the day, but of course, you know, I wasn't working and I had to beg my parents to buy me figures. Uh, the only ones they were able to get me were three here. I had that spawn with the guns. I had movie violator. His eyes light up and that was like my favorite violator back in the day. He was way better than the original bendy figure one. Uh, even though they got better with the original violator when they made uh, cyber violator and they made another variant of cyber violator without the cybernetic parts. I did have clown. He was also a favorite of mine because he had weird I guess uh, facial and hand attachments that you could put on him to make it look like he's transforming into the Violator. So those are the only three I had from the movie. Uh, Attack, Spawn, I remember seeing in KB Toy Stores when I was a kid and I remember I begged my mother so much. I was like, oh my god, that's the Spawn I always wanted. I want that figure so bad and she would just refuse to buy me any more toys at the time. So I was like, oh, I want it so bad. Um, Albojo, I, I always wanted. But yeah, that brings back a lot of memories. And I did see the movie opening night with my uncle. And my first impression was, oh, well, the suit looks cool. Violator looks cool. But the movie seems a lot toned down for Spawn. <laughs> uh, at least from, you know, what I read from the comics and from what I've seen on the HBO animated series back in the day. It's, it's a very uh, violent, violent series in the comics. And... Uh, animated show. Alright. Uh, Total Chaos. I remember seeing these a lot in stores back in the day. Mostly stores like Kmart and comic book shops, but I never bought any of them because I knew nothing about Total Chaos. I never read any of the comics or anything like that. But yeah, here's a lovely picture of Goddess holding her weapon there and her hair is out. And yeah, see there's a variant where she doesn't have the hair attachment on this figure. Alright. Time to zoom back out. Sorry, I had to go back down uh, memory lane. These figures are just pure nostalgia for me. And, hold on, I'm going to have to adjust the camera. There we go. Alright, so as I mentioned before, I will open her up and review her. Alright, and finally, I finally got a hold after all of these years of Manga Spawn, I always thought he looked cool on the back of the box here, but I never had the opportunity to actually buy this figure until now. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, a lot of these old Spawn figures that I've seen on eBay are being sold for a reasonable price. A lot of them are sold for like anywhere between $10 and $25 each. And so since he was super affordable, I had to go for him. Now, there, of course, there's other variants of this guy that are listed for a way higher price. But um, I, I'm so happy that I got the, um, the red version for, I think, around 
It's either around $12 to $15 I got this figure for. And uh, I will be opening him up and doing a review for well, or as well, sorry. Uh, so yeah, quite a few spawn figures to take a look at once I open them up, because uh, I guess I want to have some uh, spawn related stuff on this channel since, you know, I was somewhat of a huge spawn collector back in the day of the uh, original comics and the toys as well. Definitely, the, I collected so many spawn toys back in the day and had them on my shelf and I remember my grandmother came over one day and she goes, oh my god, you collect all these weird looking monsters? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, why? I'm like, they look cool. Plus I'm a fan of the comics and the sculpt of the figures. They, they were like such a different type of figures back in the days. Even though they were you know, pretty, uh, pretty delicate. Most of them were delicate. They would break easily, but they were cooler than the average, like, Marvel figure or DC figure or any other type of figure. So, uh, I'm glad to have these as part of my spawn or current spawn collection, I should say. So, look out for unboxings of these three boxes right here. And uh, I'm going to end the video now because it's going on over 21 minutes. So, Thanks for watching and stay awesome guys and look out for some future unboxing videos later.